Hi. Did you see it? There's been an update to the Illustrator public beta. And it has updated functions in the Dimension tool. So let's take a look at what it does. I'm going to double click the tool in the tool panel and you see what we can do is set up a scale for this. Of course, you can still set up the units for it and set them up as you want them. And then you can also set up the precision and this marks how the values are plotted along your lines. So you can set up how to mark the decimals. You can have them in this notation or in this notation. So let's just select one of them. Also, what you can do is set up a color here and there you can go to your swatches. So you can also use CMYK values for this. So let's set this to CMYK cyan and this one as well. Let's go to the swatches in order to celebrate that we can do that. And let's leave all the other things like so. And now, of course, you can just click and get those dimension lines. And you can also, if you have this kind of slanted line, so you can click here and then click there. And then you can not only drag them out like so, but also when you go up here, you can drag them out to the side. And you see the value, of course, is different whether you drag it to that long or to that shorter vertical line. And you can just use that. So let's take a look at what it creates. And in order to do that, of course, we go to the layers panel and you see Illustrator puts all of those dimension lines on its own layer. And then let's get into that layer and you see they are special kinds of objects. So you would expect that there are some more objects in there, but every one of these is just one object. They are a kind of group, but not quite. So let's take a look at what you can do while they are still grouped and also how to ungroup them. So when you take the direct selection tool and just click on this, then it didn't get selected. So what you can do is just drag a selection rectangle and then it gets selected. And you see, you can then set up the color. So let's go to the swatches panel in here and focus that stroke and set that stroke to red. And then you see it's still grouped, but you can change the stroke. And also you can go in here, just select it and open the character panel and set this to a different font. Let's take this one and you see it got changed. So you do not need to ungroup it in order to do that because it's always better when you just leave it for the moment. The next thing is, so well, maybe you really want to ungroup it and then let's go to object and you see Ungroup is not active, but what you can then do is expand appearance. And when you do that, then you see it gets unpacked and there you have all the objects and you, then you can style them any way you like. So this is the update to the Illustrator beta and what you can do now with the dimension lines. Have fun with them.